Hi guys, it's Sensei Kelly back here today, okay? Um, this class is for everybody going from green to brown belt again. And today we're gonna be working again on our space on kata, okay? The new kata for this curriculum. We're gonna be doing double nunchucks and then a few of our kicks, okay? Last week we worked the spinning back kick. We're gonna add another kick to that combination today. So let's do a quick warm up, and we'll get right into it, okay? So show me focus and respect. Bring your feet apart and say, please teach us sensei. Very good, I'm happy to. To degree number one, I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or my physical health. Third up, number two, I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best of myself and others. And number three, I intend to use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my community and never to be abusive or offensive. Very good. So this week in class, we've been doing some station work, okay? So I know we're not gonna be moving the stations, but I'm gonna have you guys do the exercises that we were practicing at the dojo today. So the first station is just jumping jacks, okay? So you're gonna do those for about 30 seconds, okay? Go ahead and begin. Make sure your arms are coming all the way up, all the way down, keep moving, legs apart, Together, good. Do full jumping jacks, just like you were taught. Excellent, you got a few more seconds and stop. Good, all right, nice job. Take a deep breath in and out, good. All right, so now we're gonna go to our squat kicks, okay? So remember, you're gonna bring your feet apart, hands up, you're squatting down, but you're keeping your back straight. Then coming up and doing a front kick and then squatting down and then front kick and then you're gonna continue, okay? But don't get lazy with your squats. I see some students doing this sometimes. You're just bending your back, okay? I need you to bend your knees every time. Bend your knees. Very good, okay? Ready and begin. Some of you guys might've already been started, so that's good. You'll get some extra work. Squatting down, squatting up. Squatting down. Couple more seconds, keep it up. Get down lower, see if you can go lower. Very good, all right, and stop. All right, so the next exercise is you're gonna be holding that plank position, okay? And I wanna show you a few different ways to do the plank position, okay? So if I'm here, the first way is just to go on your elbows and bring your legs straight out like this, okay? But you want to have your back straight. So you're gonna either hold it like that or you can hold the plank position in just the push-up position, just like this. But again, the back is straight and flat, just like this, okay? Now, if you wanna give yourself a challenge, you can do elevator planks. That's going from your hands to one elbow, the next elbow, back up to your hand, back up to your push-up position, okay? So it looks like this. So one, I go down, I go down, I go up, and I go up. All right, and so you're gonna continue with those. So you can pick any one of those planks to do right now, okay? So go ahead, plank position. You're gonna do it for a couple seconds, either the regular plank or just the elevator planks, okay? Keep on going. This works your arm muscles, this works your core. Planks are always good to do. Couple more seconds. All right, and break, good, nice job, okay? I'm sure you guys are getting tired right now, but the last exercise we're gonna do again, let me demonstrate it again, but you guys all know it, is your spaghetti and meatballs, okay? All right, so when you're in spaghetti, your legs are up off the ground, your shoulders are up, and then meatball comes up here and you hold it, and trying to keep your feet off the floor, and then your spaghetti comes down, good. Harrison, the cat is gonna do your exercises with you, and then meatball, all right? And then spaghetti and meatball. I think he wants to play. He wants to join your karate class today. All right, go ahead and begin. Spaghetti, meatball. Good, you're going out and back, out and back. Spaghetti, meatball. Good, that's it, a few more seconds. And break, nice job, nicely done, okay? So now you guys can stand back up and let's just take a deep breath in and now bring your feet apart, circle your arms forward. 
and we're gonna warm up with our kicks. All right, now circle your arms backwards. Good, now you're gonna twist side to side. Excellent, okay? All right, so now I want you guys to go left leg forward, guard up, good. All right, and let's just review that spinning back kick, okay? So remember, you're gonna turn your body, turn your arms, and then that comes straight back with that back kick. And then you set down in front, and then you step behind again, okay? Don't try to bring that kick all the way around. That's gonna be like your spinning hook kick that you guys practiced or your spinning crescent kick. The spinning back kick, you step, and you set it down in front, and then you step behind, okay? All right, put your hands up. All right, let me see it. Turn your body. And that kick goes straight towards me. I'm going to kick straight towards you. Good. All right. Put your guard up. Let's try it a few times. If you're at home and someone can hold a pad for you, all right, it's good to aim on something for this spinning back kick, okay? It makes you reach your kick out. Sometimes we bring our kick up like this and we want to reach it out and back, okay? So if someone can hold for you, that would be great, okay? All right. Let's try a few. Ready? Hands up. Turn, spin back kick. Good work. Again, ready, turn, spin back kick. Good, get that head around. So make sure your eyes come all the way around so you're looking. All right, look, I can see you. I want you to be able to see me and kick. Good, all right. Let's do two more so you don't get too dizzy. Ready, and go. One more time, and go. Excellent job, switch your legs, okay? So the same thing, and again, I wanna tip my screen down just a little bit so you can see my feet. All right, here, turn, hands, kick, okay? And then back to guard, look, turn, kick, step down in front, and then go back to guard. Last time, look, turn, Arms around, eyes around, kick, step down in front, back to guard. All right, let's do it. Let's do a couple of them on your own. Ready? And go. Good. Again, if you have a target, aim for the target. Ready? And go. One more time and go. Nice job. All right, go ahead and switch your feet. Now we're going to put a side kick in before that spinning back kick, okay? So this is the way it goes, okay? So I want to step my feet together and do a good side kick, but set down, have my hands go around, and then do my spinning back kick, okay? Just like that, okay? So I'm going to turn this way so you guys can see. And again, so you can see my feet the way I position myself, okay? So from here, I step up and I do my side kick, but look how I set down. I set down with both my feet pointing towards the back here. Then I can turn my guard and set myself up for that spinning back kick, okay? All right, watch me again. I step up, I do my side kick, I set down, feet turn this way, hands come around, spin back. All right, last time. One, two, okay? So you want those kicks to go right after one another, okay? All right, here we go. Hands up, ready, and go. Side kick, spin back kick. Set down in front, step behind. Very good. All right, let's just do a few of those. Ready, and go. Good, that's it. Let's do it again, ready, go. Remember to get those hands around, get that guard around. Good, ready, and go. All right, one more time. Ready, and go. Good, switch your legs, okay? All right, step up, side kick. Step it down, okay, hands come around. Spin back kick, all right. Again, step, side kick, turn, spin back kick. Excellent, and maybe if someone's holding for you, they can hold for your side kick, but then they have to take a little step back for that spin back kick because you're coming towards them, okay? So if you have a pad holder, hold it still for the side kick and then take a little step back for that spinning back kick. 
All right, let's do it a couple times. Ready and go. Good. Ready, go. And go. Nice job, all right? So maybe we're gonna add to that combination maybe even next week, okay? Nice job, okay? So now let's go back to our Seisan Kata. Before we start the Kata, I still wanna go over that one section that you guys are coming up on where those we do those double blocks like this, okay? Good, so take one hand, bring it up to your ear, and as that hand chops down, the other hand is gonna come around and chop down. Then you're gonna bring that hand to your ear. It's gonna come down and the other one circles around. And then let's add that other move to it. Now you're gonna grab, you're grabbing somebody and you're pulling them into you, okay? Where that elbow goes right to your belt. Now bring that one up to your ear, chop down and around. Grab and pull. Excellent, bring that one up to your ear, bring it down and around. Grab, pull. We do this three times in the kata. Bring it up to your ear, bring it down, around, good. Grab, pull. Now I'm gonna turn to the side, okay? So when I do this, my hands come up, down, okay? So your hand that circles is always in front of your front leg, okay? Your other hand that chops down is by your back leg, okay? And make sure when you chop down and both hands have tension in them and they're strong, you're not loose or anything like that. It's a block and a chop, okay? So you're blocking and could be potentially hitting something and you don't wanna hit it with a loose hand, okay? So when you come around, circle in front of your front leg and then grab. Then that hand comes up and then you would circle step forward and you turn or circle it and it comes down. And then you would do it one more time and then grab and come down, all right, or, or pull in. All right, so let's start the cut again, okay? So I'm gonna turn around because um, I think it'll be easier for you guys to watch, okay? All right, so start with your yesme, kitsuke, ready, hajime, kata, space on. Then go to your ready position. And then you're on a circle step in with your left leg first, left hand side block, right hand punch, circle step, punch, circle step, punch. Cross the arms, shuffle, two head blocks. Look over your shoulder. Now you're gonna take your right foot and swing it all the way around. And your right foot is in back now. And you're gonna chop down with two double chops like this. All right. Now you're taking your left hand, you're bringing it up to your ear and you're circle stepping forward with your right leg. Now your right hand comes around and the left hand chops down. You're gonna grab and then you're gonna pull. Good, your hand, right hand comes up to your ear. You circle step forward. You're gonna bring it around, circle down and chop down. You're gonna grab and you're gonna pull again. And then that left hand comes up to your ear Circle step forward with your right leg, right hand circles, left hand chops, grab and pull. Good. Now this next section you guys will recognize because it's key on kind of number three. So your hands are gonna go to your right hip here and you're gonna look to your side and you're gonna turn. So now your left leg is in front, say it's on stand, and you're gonna do key on kind of number three. Side block, two punches, front kick, punch and your right hand comes over. Look, turn, right leg is in front. Look, turn, and your right leg continues to be in front. Do your side block, punch, punch, left leg kick, and punch. Bring your left hand over, you're gonna look and turn, and now your left leg is in front, and you do your side block again, two punches, front kick, and punch. Now you're gonna go into your horse stance and your left hand is gonna do that arm break. All right, and that's where we're gonna stop the kata, okay? So now that's the beginning all the way up to the first arm break, okay? So let's do that together again, okay? So I'm gonna turn around. Remember, we start with our left leg going out in yesume position, okay? Ready, yesume, kitsuke, ready, 
Hajime, Kata Seisan. Then ready position. Now you're going to circle step forward with your left leg. Side block, punch. Step, punch, stop, punch. Cross, shuffle, two headlocks. Look, turn, and chop down. Left hand comes up, circle, step forward, bring it around, down. Grab, pull. And now bring this hand up to your ear, circle, step forward, bring it around, down. Grab, pull. One more time, bring this hand up, circle, step forward, bring it around, down. Grab, pull. Hands go over. Look, turn, side block, punch, punch, hit, punch, look, turn, look, turn, side block, punch, punch, hit, punch, look, turn again, side block, punch, punch, kick, punch, go into that good horse stance, bend those knees, bring it under, and pull through for that arm break. Excellent job. So if you guys can try that one time on your own right now, that would be great. All right. So even if you have to pause the video and go back and rewatch Seisan that's okay. That's why we're doing these videos, okay? And you guys are going to do great. And the good thing about Seisan Kata is it repeats itself quite often, okay? So when I teach you the next section, the section after that section repeats what I'm going to be teaching you guys next week, okay? I know that was a lot. So we're going to go over and grab our nunchucks now, okay? So go ahead and grab it. And today we're going to do our double nunchucks. Last week we did single, so this week we'll do double, okay? All right, so grab two hands and just warm up with those backward spins. Good, I have the little nunchucks today because I was um, working with some tiger age kids, the four and five year olds. So my bigger nunchucks are at the dojo and I have these home with me. Okay, now spin them towards me. Good, okay. And again, one challenge for you guys is to do one backwards and one forward. So you gotta go the opposite way, okay? So you it might be easier to start one going backwards and the other one going forward after that. Good, keep practicing. Nicely done, nicely done. All right, now you guys go into a horse dance here and we're just gonna do bounces off the legs. So when you do your bounce off your legs, remember you're hitting the inside of your leg, okay? You don't wanna go in the middle you want to go on the side, on the inside, right by the knee here, a little bit above the knee. All right, so up to your shoulders, down. And this move just kind of sets you up for other things that you might be doing later, okay? So we're just bouncing and changing the direction of the nunchuck. Good, okay? Now try switching them, do them opposite. And you notice I'm not hitting myself hard at all, okay? Just bouncing, very light tap. Good work, okay? All right, now bring those nunchucks underneath your arms for those snap strikes, okay? So let's try both snap strikes together and catch. Good, do it again and catch. Again, catch, and again, catch. Good, try a few times. These are tough with the smaller ones. Good. Good. And if you watch these videos before, you guys know the rapid fire snap strikes, okay? That's when you do one at a time. One, two, one, two, one, two. And you can challenge yourself to see how fast you can do them, but you gotta catch them each time. Good. Oh, I've missed a few. Good, keep on practicing, a couple more seconds. Good work, all right. And the one we're gonna finish with today is the challenge for you guys doing the helicopter spin and the side spin at the same time. We're gonna get into some challenges for you guys over the next couple months. This one isn't too bad, most of you guys can do that. All right, go ahead, switch your hands, switch your hands. Ah, 
excellent job. And if you guys can think of any challenges, make sure you email me. I'd love to um, hear about them and you can kind of describe them, um, have your parents email me in the email, okay? Nice job, you guys can put your nunchucks away. All right, so we're gonna be finishing up our class today, but your karate homework this week is to, after this class, I want you to do at least five jump kicks, five back leg jump uh, front kicks, and then five jump double front kicks. And I want you guys to practice those every day until our next video, okay? Let's see if you can do that. All right, nice job today, today guys. Everybody show me focus and respect. And bring your feet apart and say thank you for teaching us, Sensei. You're welcome. Here we go. As a dedicated student of the martial arts, I will live by the principles of black belt. Honesty, courtesy, integrity, self-control, perseverance, and indomitable spirit. What kind of school is this? This is a black belt school. Nice job. Show me your focus and your respect. Two air high fives, guys. Awesome job. I will see you next week.